Hey guys, it's Naeem here from Fan Vlogs. We're coming at you with a special edition of Faith Friday. We're gonna release one on Wednesday, which is what you're watching right now, and then another one this Friday. So you'll get a double dose of our Faith Friday videos for this week. Here we go. I just wanna give you my life now. I don't wanna ever turn the lights down. This week I wanna talk about something very powerful that God revealed to me as I was in my quiet time. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 9. A very famous scripture, but very powerful, and God revealed something to me. Let me go ahead and read it to you. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 24, beginning at verse 24 and down. It says, Do you not know that in a race all runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and I make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. Paul is giving an encouragement to the Corinthian church and he's saying your walk with Christ is going to be the same thing as a race. And the interesting thing about races is that there's typically many runners. Many people are running. You have like four or five people right next to each other and all are running for the number one spot, but not everybody gets the number one spot. You know that only one person gets that spot. And so Paul is saying, listen, your walk with God is gonna be exactly like a race. And then he says, but when you run this race, when you walk with Christ, run in a way to get the prize. In other words, run to get the number one spot. What is he talking about as far as number one spot? Does he mean be better than all your other brothers and sisters? No, he's talking about the way that we choose to live our life for Jesus. Run and live your life as to get the prize. And then he says, they, and he's referring to the runners or the, the people in the game, when they run, when they go into that strict training that we saw in that scripture, he says they go into strict training. When they go through all that training and all that effort that they're putting into getting the number one goal, and the day that they're awarded with that crown on stage, and then somebody says, you got the number one prize. Here's a crown. Here's the award for all of your training that you you've done. This is your accomplishment. And they put a crown on their head. Paul says all that that they did and that reward they got, it's temporary. It's going to fade away one day. The example that he's giving is at the end of our lives, when you and I are standing before God one day, God is going to look at our lives and he's going to award us with a beautiful crown on our head. Unlike the crown that the runners get for running that race and winning the prize, the crown that we're going to receive from God is going to be eternal. It's never going to fade away. And so the reason why Paul is saying this is he's not saying that so we can enter a competition with people. He's saying that to everybody. In other words, all of us can run. Every Christian can run to get the prize. Every Christian can run to get the crown on their head. The reason why you would get that crown is he's saying run as to get the crown. In other words, live your life in a way that will please God, in a way that will honor God, in a way that will say, God, I'm putting you first in everything I'm doing. And at the end of our lives, God will say, you got the number one spot in that race. And the most beautiful thing about God is that that number one spot, he's not limited to just one person. God can give that number one spot to all of his children if they're living in a way and they're running in a way to get the prize. And then in verse 26, he says, therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. And the Lord started speaking to me about that. And he said, what are you aiming for right now? In your walk with me, what are you aiming for? Are you aiming for something? Are you aiming to get closer to me? Are you aiming to minister more? Are you aiming to win more souls? Are you aiming to to read the word more and to spend more time with me. But what are you aiming for? Because Paul said, I'm not running with no aim. Because if somebody, if you ever seen somebody running with no aim, they have they have no direction in life. They don't know where they're going. But if you are running with aim, if you say God today, and this is what I want to challenge you and encourage you with. If you're saying God today, give me something to aim at in my walk with you. What do you want from me? Do you want me to spend a little bit more time with you? Do you want me to listen to your word? Do you want me to read your word more? Do you want me to set a goal on how many people I can win to you this year or this month. That kid at school, do you want me to minister to him? Aim at something. Paul is saying, aim at something. A great man once said, if you aim at nothing, you're going to hit it every single time. So choose to aim at something. And the way that we can run that race has to get the prize, or in other words, run the race to get the number one spot, is you first have to aim at something. And if you have no aim, you'll have nothing to run for. So I want to encourage you, aim for something. Pray and say, God, what can I aim for in my walk with you? What can I strive for in my walk with you? What can I go for? 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. Run in such a way as to get 
the prize. Today, make a decision that you're gonna live for God and you're gonna walk for Him in a way that He will give us a prize at the end. And God is gonna give you wisdom, He's gonna give you understanding on exactly what He wants you to do in your personal walk with Him and in your ministry. And at the end, we'll have a beautiful crown from God Himself and He'll put it on our head with a smile on His face and He'll say, well done, my good and faithful servant. And that crown is never gonna fade away. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was a blessing to you. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button right now. Leave us a comment so we can reach out to you. And we'll see you guys this Friday for another episode of Faith Friday videos from Fan Vlogs. God bless you and see you next time. Boink. Gosh. Uh, when we standing, when we're standing, cut that out. And we will see you guys. And we'll see you guys this Friday for another Faith Friday. Cup, you bring life to my soul Now I know you ain't for you The start and the goal Fire in my heart, I need some Zantac Turning up the flame, I need a fan that Let the start your love, I need to stand back The way you work it out, I couldn't plan